if I can, I'd like to ask first um, what motivated you initially. What was the thing that made you want to rewrite the physics of buildings? Oh, first of all, I have to contradict because we ah. are not rewriting the physics of ah. buildings. Uh, it's, uh, it's the physics of buildings. It's not changed. It was always the same physics. And uh, humans can't rewrite mm. the physics. They, they might have better understanding of the physics, and, and, and that's what we try to do. Now, uh, I started as a physicist uh, at the uh, University of uh, Tübingen, and we were looking on the different ways uh, how to supply energy in the future. And then we realized that that will be a quite difficult task to do. Uh, it, it would, uh, we realized that it will be difficult to uh, really get nuclear fusion to work for mankind. And when you, you realize that, you see, oh, there have to be other solutions. So we, we looked quite um, uh, in detail on what we are doing with energy, and then we realized that most of these processes are very inefficient. Uh, so that was the way I came step by step uh, to the building, because the building is the most inefficient way to use energy nowadays. Thank you. Could you give us, in a uh, short as way as you could, the difference between a normal building and a passive house building? So what you see from the outside, and what you see if you live in the building, you won't see much difference. So there's almost no difference. It's, a, it's the same way of living in the normal and in a passive house. What you will see in the next step, if you look a little bit narrow, that is that the consumption of energy in the passive house is uh, almost one-tenth of what you have had in a traditional building in the past. So there seems to be a big difference, but uh, now we have to analyze where is that coming from. And that comes from uh, that uh, we uh, keep track of the energy which is used in the building, that we try to use the energy as efficient as possible, and so we can reduce all these losses, and that reduces the amount of energy needed. And that l leads to some of the components which, which are used in the passive house, which turned out to be quite interesting on, on a, a general level of building construction, building physics. It turns out that uh, all these components you need for reducing the energy demand of a building, uh, all these measures have a lot of additional advantages mm. on the other side, which we didn't know before, but we have seen in the process.